In this video I'm going to talk about some essential homebrew apps for your Nintendo 3DS in 2025. If you've not yet modded your 3DS you can find a link in the description with some step-by-step -step instructions on how you can do this for yourself. First I'm going to briefly mention 8shop. Now I can't actually show you exactly how to install this one but if you search on Google you should be able to find with relative ease. 8shop is a fantastic application where you can pretty much download and install any Nintendo 3DS game. There's a bunch of other great apps and homebrew apps that are available on there as well. Um, so this is just an absolute must have. Something else I want to briefly mention is Universal Updater. This is just a, um, an application which will um, generally be installed by default at the point that you mod your 3DS. Um, it will allow you to keep all of your homebrew apps completely up to date. And there's also a bunch of other great apps on there which you can install. And we're going to start by talking about a couple of those now. So I'm just going to load this up and I'm going to go through a couple of the applications that you can find on here and that are absolutely essential in my opinion. Now once you get it into Universal Updater, you first of all want to go over and install Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. This is an absolute must-have for anybody with a modded 3DS. This will allow you to access the DSi menu um, and basically play any DS games directly from the ROM and um, from the SD card. You'll also be able to run a number of different emulators allowing you to play NES games, GBA games, Game Boy Color games and a lot of other great things through Twilight Menu. Another app you're want, going to want to grab directly from Universal Updater is the TWL Save Tool. This is going to allow you to dump your save files from DS cartridges. This is particularly useful if you enjoy the Pokemon games as what you'll be able to do is for the Generation 4 and 5 games you can dump the save file and then you'll be able to edit that in PKSM which is another application that we're going to talk about in a moment. But in a nutshell, uh, TWL is just a, just a great tool to have. And, and as, as I briefly mentioned with the Pokemon games, you'll be able to dump your save file and you'll be able to transfer any of your Pokemon um, from that save file up to the current generations while still preserving the Pokemon on the original cartridge. Now the next application I want to give a mention to is Universal Manager. This is a piece of homebrew that you can install directly from the 8 shop. It is particularly useful um, as it will allow you to access the SD card and it's just effectively just a file manager which will allow you to, to go through all of the files within the SD card and move them around, copy them. Um, great if you dump and save files because then you can move them um, around in, in, in uh, um, the folder that you need them into. And you also get an FTP manager on here which is, allows you to transfer your files remotely. Um, so just a very useful tool, uh, saves you having to take the SD card out um, for a lot of different tasks. And next up I want to mention PKSM. This is a Pokemon save manager. Um, it is a fantastic tool. I've got a number of videos already um, on this which will be linked in the description below. A lot of cool things you can do in here. I'll briefly mention um, a couple of them now. But essentially what this will allow you to do is make adjustments to your save files. Um, you can transfer Pokemon up to um, like, like between your games. So if you want to move a Generation 4 Pokemon to a Generation 6, you can do that. You can transfer up to Generation 7, then into the Pokemon Bank, and then up to Pokemon Home. Um, I have a video which covers that full process, which will be linked in the description down below. But if we load up Pokemon Y here, for example, I'll just briefly show you the interface. So we have a, um, a storage manager here. This works very similar to how sort of Pokemon Home and Pokemon Bank work, um, where you have a, a storage box. You can move your Pokemon um, between different um, save files within within the games. You have a, um, a full editor here, which will allow you to customize or enter um, custom Pokemon into your game. So 
you can for example here we get add in a Bulbasaur we can adjust the stats, the EVs, the IVs, the nature we can make it shiny um, do a lot of cool things with the with the um, with the editor. Aside from the editor, um, you also have events where you can insert um, previously discontinued events from the past into the generations four through to generation seven games. I have a full video covering the process on that, which will be linked in the description down below. Um, so go and check that one out as well. You also have um, scripts, and um, this allows you to inject a number of different sort of um, cheat, sort of like cheat codes into your game. Uh, you can see you can you can set the game like one million XP, uh, so you can help you quickly level Pokemon up if you want to do that. Um, but there's a number of other options within here that you can take advantage of, and that just about covers PKSM. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to talk about a part of Super Mario 64. This can be installed directly from the 8 shop. This is a homebrew, a homebrew project. Um, it's not running through emulation. It is effectively a, a part of Super Mario 64. Runs pretty well. Um, it runs superbly well on the newer version 3DSs. So if you've got a, a 2DS XL, or a new 3DS, um, whether it's the XL or the normal model, this game runs fantastically well um, on those consoles. Not as great on the 2DS or the regular 3DS, but still um, well enough to be able to, to play. It tends to slow down a little bit in the cutscenes, but otherwise it's, um, it's, it's generally fine. And the final app that I want to go over is Anemone. Anemone, not sure how you pronounce it, but it is a 3DS theme manager. Um, this will be installed by default when you uh, modify your, or when you homebrew your 3DS console. You'll then be able to download um, whatever custom themes you want. So you can create custom themes um, and you can change them in here. So as you can see, I've got the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon theme. Currently, uh, you just if I wanted to change it, for example, to the Persona Q2 theme, I can do that, restart the console, and it is as simple as that. But um, that is going to cover it for this video. Um, a lot of great apps there that we've went over. Um, there's still many other cool things you can do with the 3DS, but at least for my personal needs, they're the ones that I find to be the most useful. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is there anything else you'd like to see me cover? Let me know down there as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.